The Bible says we ought not how to pray, but the Spirit interceded for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. God is looking for a generation of people that are ready to travail. God is looking for a generation of people that are ready to give themselves to God. Alabarade la batande kai, akapala telebota na madekai. Jesus says the time is coming and the time has come that the true worshippers shall worship him in truth and in spirit. Come on somebody lift up your voice. Taparande kaparande kalatalai, ya da barade le talada da da deisha, ye ya da 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 shai, e kaparate dai, e rite dai, ye kalabara kadei ya da dai, e krata le kaparade le, a generation that rolls in the spirit, a generation that rolls in the spirit, abra kai. Lift up your voice. Let your body become a living sacrifice. Let your body become a living sacrifice. I let your body become a living sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> Yande kabala tala bada katai, embrende kabala ta, lambrende kabala ta. The Bible says Elijah prayed that rain should not come for three and a half years, and rain was told, Child of God, you are gonna lift up your voice, echo in the realm of the spirit, in the name that is above every other name. Hey, shine. Alabada baban se tele pantes ko le paradatai. Amrende kamanda kasa de pai. Ande basande kai. Alabala talamane katala bane kai. Lift up your voice. Libra dosia katele barande kabala Shalibra de Blade, and you are here 
and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here and you are here holy ghost Holy Carry me, carry me. I the Bible says, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, themselves and say Lord I'm here as a living sacrifice yes, so God. somebody has to sacrifice themselves and say Lord I'm here use me my God Jesus, Jesus, hear me Jesus. this generation we are living into does not Jesus, respond to your degree Jesus, Jesus, no matter how wealthy and strong you are there is a day your strength will fail you and the only thing you try to run to Jesus, is God. Jesus, Amen. Jesus, Jesus. Hey. Let your voice speak for me, Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. Let your voice oh. announce me, Jesus. There are men that were mighty. Let your voice speak, They are sent felt them. Strengthen there are men me, that Jesus. were wealthy. 
their wealth disappeared in a spring of an eye. They are men that were strong. Ayakai. There were some that were beautiful. They are beautified like flowers. But when you carry the fire, I say when you carry the anointing, I say when you carry the grace, Holy Ghost, Aye. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Aye. Holy Ghost, 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 There was a man called Jehu in the Bible. The Bible says he rode the chariot like a madman. The word met met many Hebrew, it means Meshuka. Shout Meshuka. God is looking for met people. People yes. that will be crazy for God. Yes. It is abnormal yes. to be normal in this world. You need to carry this fire. You need to carry this fire. Your generation will not change unless you carry something tangible. I say your household do not change unless you carry something tangible. Aye. Malababa Sandekai. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Kabalande Kabaradele Taidabai. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor, you can't survive. You can't survive. You can't survive. You can't survive without, without the fire. Without the fire. You can't survive, you can't survive without the grace of God. Without the grace of God. You can't survive. You can't survive without the anointing of God. Without the anointing of God. My God. Hallelujah. One of the things that is surprising me in our times is how people are getting to a place where they are losing the importance of what is most valuable. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? People are losing importance of what is most valuable. We are having a generation that does not have weight in the spirit. We are leading a generation that does not have weight in the spirit. And we have a risk of losing a generation, especially in the time to come. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. If we are not going to get to a place where we are going to arise and correct this matter, we we'll realize that whatever, even what we call an investment for our children, it will not be an investment. They will be wasted before they enjoy it. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating with somebody? They will be wasted before they enjoy it. It is only God. It is only the grace of God. It is only the anointing of God. Let's sit down. It is only the anointing of God that will be reliable in the day of need. Am I communicating with somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? The strongest of them all, their strength failed. Praise God. 
want to bless God for today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I want to praise God for those that are watching online, um, those that came to be in the live service, and those that might have missed it. Praise God. I want to thank God uh, that as you are here today, I want you to know that it is not that you have arranged or prepared to be here, but it is by divine orchestration that the Lord has made you to be here. Praise God. Praise God. Just greet your neighbor and say neighbor. neighbor. Greet your neighbor and say neighbor. neighbor. The, Lord, the, Lord. the Lord. The Lord has a purpose with your life. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord has a purpose with your life. Praise God. Praise God. Is your neighbor responding? Hallelujah. And say, neighbor, the Lord has a purpose with your life. Praise God. I want to greet everybody who is here today in the name and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want you to extend and greet your neighbor. Very once and neighbor, you look wonderful. And neighbor, you look awesome. Praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. Mande kabala kababu wasai. Debbie says, one thing do I know is that I will dwell in the house of the Lord Amen. for the rest of my life. Majesty Majesty Your grace has found me just as I am. Empty handed but a life in your hands. We sing majesty. as I am empty and never but a life in, in your hand. hand let that be your declaration we, we sing majesty we sing majesty Has found me just as I am, empty-handed, but a life in your hands. We sing majesty. We sing majesty. We 
Just shout, I'm there. I'm there. Let me see your Bible. Lift up your Bible. Let me see your Bible. Let me see your seriousness. Let me not say, let me see your Bible. Let me see your seriousness. Some people have Bibles that if battery goes, they will not have an encounter with God. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, Hallelujah somebody. Amen. Mm. All right. My God. Amen. Galatians, let me start with Galatians. Galatians chapter number three. Galatians chapter number 3. From verse number 1. Oh foolish Galatians. Mm. Who have bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth crucified among you, this only would I learn of you. O oh, ye foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Look at your neighbor and say, who has bewitched you? You understand that when Apostle Paul is speaking, he's speaking to believers who are at a place of Galatians. Am I communicating to somebody? And one of the things that grieved him was that these were people that started a journey spiritually. My God. But somewhere along the line, they started becoming carnal people. Oh my God. The journey of being a believer is not about how you start, it's about how you end. There are many that started well, but they did not end well. There are many that were on fire before, but before we knew it, the fire dried. Look at your neighbor and say, who bewitched you? Who bewitched you? Paul is bringing up a revelation beyond only what he's saying. He's saying every time you see a depletion, witchcraft is involved. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 every time you see a diversion, witchcraft is involved. So he said, how you started is not how you are walking. Somebody bewitched you. There are many that started ministry. They, they, had, they, they had a mindset. They, they had an intent tension of changing the world but somewhere along the line something entered them all oh, you foolish galatians who bewitched you meaning it takes a fool to be bewitched oh you foolish it takes a fool to be bewitched because witchcraft is an act of manipulation that involved a witch and a craft. Yeah. Yes. 
Because a witch without a craft is not experienced. Am I communicating to somebody? And sometimes that is why they can use principles that are in the Bible because it's a craft that is being used by a witch. That is why you can be anointed and be a witch. Because it's a craft. All you foolish Galatians who bewitched you. You started in the spirit. Now you are wallowing in the flesh. You started on fire. Now you are like water. Hear me. A generation that has no fire will realize that at the later end, even degrees don't matter when things become tough. There are there are wealthy people that have invited us to their houses. Why? Because irregardless of the house being big, the matter is now spiritual. They can't sleep at night. Because alien spirits, demonic spirits have invaded the house. There are many of us, you know how you started. You were on fire for God. And there is a point you thought you were you know more than the Holy Ghost himself. Yes. And you were manipulated. Especially in the dispensation where you are told it's all about grace. And you think you can fornicate anyhow and operate with the spirit of God. Which anointing from God who is holy and pure can you transfer? Because the contents are contaminated by the container. There are many that have been imparted what we call <laughs> contaminated oil. That is why I always tell people you don't see me laying my hands on anybody and wherever you go don't let anyone just lay their hand on because your head is a portal of impartation and exchange. It's either something is being taken or something is being released. And there are people whose destinies were bewitched just because somebody laid their hand on them. Kabanakakom. You knew how when you would hold the Bible, the way you would read the Bible. But right now the Bible has become a sleeping tablet. The moment you hold it, it's like you have drank four sleeping tablets. You are gone. <laughs> Even a movie will not take you like that. We have a generation that is no longer serious about God. They know how to go to church, but they do not know the God they want to have an encounter with. Yeah. I told us that gathering is thousands does not mean we are believers. Because when Jesus says win souls to me, he did not say win bodies. Because a soul is the combination of the mind, the will, and the emotions. It means if we have not yet transformed their minds, they are not souls. They are still in the world. And some of them, they did not get born again and they go to a place where they say that I have an anointing God has called me. That is why they can fornicate anyhow and still have the audacity to stand on the altar and speak about God. God does not want to be spoken about because he has been spoken about for generations. That's why Paul says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. But it is joy love in the Holy Ghost. 
Paul says, I did not come to you with the enticing words of the wisdom of men, but I came with the demonstration of the power of God. This generation is not looking for grammar. This generation is looking for power. Someone is saying, how will my situation change? Your grammar will not change the situation. It is what you've contacted in the secret place that will determine what will be contacted by people. Amen. We now have places where you go there, you have a headache, you leave church with malaria. Where is the power of God? The generation is drying up. Why? Because we have not taught them how to seek God. We have not taught them how to come to God. We have taught them how to come to people. A generation full of hunger for miracles, but they are not full of hunger that they might carry the power that makes miracles to happen. There is a way that Jesus spoke to me the last two days and I realized that most of the times we might go all our way into different directions but not realize that it's only one thing that Jesus said. The Bible says when Jesus is lifted, he will draw many unto him. Somebody say Jesus is lifted. Jesus. Somebody say let Jesus be lifted. Let Jesus be lifted. Somebody say let Jesus be lifted. Let Jesus be lifted. Thank you Lord. In 2 Timothy chapter number one verse number seven the bible says we have not received the spirit ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we, we have not received the spirit of fear yes, sir. but you have received the spirit mm -hmm. of power might and a sound mind. mind. Hear me? The Holy Ghost gets to a place where he brings you to a place where your mind becomes sound. This thing we were told that the Holy Spirit only finishes on Hear me? He goes to an extent where he comes. He enters your body, electrifies and neuralizes your body. Ah, you didn't hear that. That your, your mind becomes as if there was a chip that was put in it. It becomes sound. Aye. This Holy Ghost. The Bible says when he came upon men like Peter, they had boldness and they started speaking like learned men. The only thing that can supersede education is the Holy Ghost. Archbishop Guti was taught even English by angels in a mountain. He didn't go to school for it. There is a way when you depend on this God, the one who created all things. <laughs> we testify when being at school, you would realize that while he's being at school, it was the Holy Ghost while he's you are at night. The day before the exam. And you are so much anxious about the exam. And suddenly you begin to dream things in the exam. You wake up in the morning, you peruse. Ah, you realize that in the exam those questions have come. Why? Because this Holy Ghost, if men would understand. Oh, you foolish gosh. Who bewitched you? It takes a fool to be bewitched. And we have a generation that is full of. Am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah, yes, Am I communicating to somebody here? Yes, so when you receive this spirit, Paul says to Timothy, we have not received the spirit of fear. Meaning, fear is a spirit. And it is received. You didn't hear. You didn't hear. Fear is a spirit. And it is received. The reason why even Paul gets to a place where he brings a comparison of the Holy Ghost and fear. 
must make you to fear. <laughs> we did not receive the spirit of fear, but of power. Meaning, what stops to choose fear? Every time when a person gets to be in a position where they fear, these are the things that would have been dismantled in them. Power. When fear comes, you are dislodged from power. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? When fear comes, love disappears. Hey, true love operates where there is confidence. <laughs> the moment fear comes, we have loss of trust. Am I communicating with somebody? When fear comes, you become unstable. That's why the Bible says, this Holy Ghost we receive, he gives us a sound mind. But when fear is an operation, your mind is not sound. You become unstable. What makes a man to be bold is when you are carrying this Holy Ghost. Am I communicating with somebody? Yes, Am I communicating with somebody? Yes, Am I communicating with somebody? Amen. Do we have a generation of men and women that are filled with the Holy Ghost? No. Look at you and say, what are you carrying? Look at him and say, what are you carrying? What are you carrying? It is when you spend much time in the Holy Ghost. It is when you spend much time with the Holy Ghost that there is this boldness that erupts in you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 91, he who abides in the secret place of the Most High. Yeah. Abiding in the secret place, there are certain things that you begin to realize. There are certain attacks that cannot come to you. But the secret is in abiding. Amen. So anything else you can be told might not equate just getting to a place where after you receive this Holy Ghost, you abide and you fellowship with him. You fellowship with him. Men of God, you do not understand I'm carrying the flesh. Hear me. Paul says, walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Someone is asking a question. How do I walk in the spirit? Hear me. The highest spiritual man is a man who has made the word of the Lord to become flesh and part of you can never know God if you do not know your Bible. Oh, yeah. Am I communicating with somebody? Yes, Am I communicating with somebody? Yes, the word of the Lord comes in three dimensions. It comes in knowledge. So there is a way you can read the Bible only for knowledge. While you are reading the Bible, you are acquiring and you are eating knowledge. So the first dimension of the word, it is knowledge. The second dimension, it is inspiration. When you begin to read the word of God, when you have acquired knowledge, there is a dimension where that knowledge you acquired begins to inspire you. It begins to energize you. When you are inspired, that is when revelation now appears. Yes. You will never get to a place where you contact revelation unless you are inspired by the knowledge you already have. Let me tell you something. God will never operate beyond what you know about him. That's a hard one. God will never operate beyond what you know about him. Am I communicating to somebody? That is why people are in situations and they are sick because they do not know that he's Jehovah Rapha. They will never experience the healing side of him. There are people that believe God can heal. They don't believe that God can provide. Somebody say, who bewitched you? Who bewitched you? Who 
will be with you. A generation where we tell ourselves, no, God is just an option. When it comes to God, some of us, we sold ourselves. It's either God or nothing. It's either God or nothing. Because everything else you try has an expiry date. Am I communicating to somebody here? Right, yes, sir. Do you know what happens when you carry God? Do you know what happens when you stay in God? Do you know what happens when you come to a place where you abide in God? 2 Corinthians 2.19 When you bring, come to a place where you abide in God. 2 Corinthians chapter number 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. And he said unto me, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for my you. My grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. My strength is made perfect. In weakness. In your weakness. If you understand what, what that means. Hear me. God is not looking for you when you have muscles. Paul speaks a mystery. Because the reason why they were bewitched, they might give an excuse that we have weaknesses. But Paul is saying, is being told by God that my strength as God is made perfect in your weakness. He is looking for that weakness so that his strength can be perfected. That is why most of the people that you call outcasts are the people that God uses. Because when you know you are imperfect and God uses you, there is no way you can broaden up your shoulders and say it is I. So there is no excuse. Because he's looking for you in your weakness and he's saying, that is when my power is perfected. He's looking for a Moses who is a stammerer to make him a prophet. He's looking for a Jesus who's coming from a place where there is no history. Who's coming from a place called Nazareth. So that in a place where they said nothing good can come out from that place. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? This generation no longer needs most of the things that we are trying to do. It now needs people that abide in God. People that are ready to become madmen of God. One of my greatest fear is that many people will become more serious with God when they no longer have time. Many people we will start to recall things about God when time is no. And some men of God come and pray for me. And the man goes, No, those days I was not busy. Nowadays, there's no access. Pray for yourself. <laughs> how is he saying, Pray for myself? I never learned how to pray, but you had time. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating with somebody? Amen. Many people get to a place where when God looks at them, it's like God is in tears. When God looks at them, he's deep in tears. Why? Because he understands what he invested in you. Why? Because he understands what he has put in you. 
when you look at a man, when you read your Bible, there was a man called Paul. And the Bible says the man called Saul was anointed by God to be the king over a land called Israel. And when you read your Bible, in as much as he was made to become king, hear me, he, he was a king for 40 years, but the oil was only there for three years. The unction was only there for three years. When heaven looked at Israel, they said there was no king, yet there was a man seated on a throne. May I not come to a place where I am living on earth and heaven is saying there is nobody filling the gap. Nothing is more painful than that to, that, that to God in your existence. There is no difference than when you are absent. Am I communicating with somebody? Amen. Am I communicating with somebody? Amen. There are people, even if they are absent, it does not move God. Even if they are present, it does not move God. Because they have nothing to add to God. They have nothing to add to his assignment and kingdom. Such a life where you just pass by the earth. Escorting others. To fulfill purpose. A waste of breath and a waste of oxygen. That when you get to be in heaven, there is nothing, not even a single thing that you can account of when heaven asks, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> What did you do? And one of the biggest reasons is because we do not have much time in the presence of God. After you post that post of a prayer on your status, pray the prayer. Let it not end in you posting the prayer. Acts 17 verse 23. Acts 17 verse 23. Akabawa kokoma nakai. Oh, Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Spirit. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions... I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Somebody say to the unknown God. The unknown God. Somebody say to the unknown God. The unknown God. Somebody to the unknown God. The unknown God. Hear me. This is a generation. And these are people. They were believers and they were children that were trying to pray to God, but they did not know him. So even when they erected an altar to sacrifice to God, they knew he was there, but they never had an encounter with him. Such a generation we live in. That the only thing they, they could inscribe was to an unknown God. There are many that, that, that are in the house of God, but they do not know this God. That is why the church is so much full of rascality in our generation. Why? Because those that are being done, all these gymnastic things, do not even know what the Bible says. So anything can be done to them because they do not know God. As long as the name God is spoken, they lift up their hands and they say amen. Some go to an extent where they, def they are defiled. All because the man of God says it's an instruction from God. You hear the instruction, the diabolism, the wickedness, the evilness. You wonder which kind of a God who, is, who, who instruct a man to do that to somebody's wife. Why? Because the generation does not know God. They have not spent much time in God. 
for him to for, for, for them to have an encounter with him. That is why you, it is hard for certain people to sacrifice to God. One thing that I realized is nobody can sacrifice until they have an encounter. That's why you do not have to, to, to stress over a commitment of a person. When a person gets to have an encounter with God, you don't tell them what to do. They do themselves. Yes. When a person meets with God, by the time we say service is at 10, 7 o'clock they are here. Because that night they dreamt something and they can't wait. Imagine if a person is told you only have 24 hours. <laughs> you see them here by 7. <laughs> they want to confess every confession and be clean. Because they've been told you are left with 24 hours. Encounter. Encounter. Oh ye foolish Galatians. Who bewitched you? You started in the spirit. Now you are walking in the flesh. Samson was anointed by God to deliver the children of Israel. Hear me. When you read your Bible, the Bible says, and Samson went to Timna and saw a woman. That is the first thing that Samson saw when he went to Timna. His assignment is to deliver. But his desire is on something else. It's on something else. And one of the reasons why it is like that is because many have not yet sacrificed themselves to become a living sacrifice. Hear me. When you are not yet serious with God, there is no way you will see the serious investment of God being put on you. It's impossible. It's impossible. And it is a tragedy that many people only become serious when things are now somehow. Yeah. When they are now on the sick bed. That is when now they will start calling for a priest. They were praying to a God who they did not know. They were worshipping a God who they did not know. Why? Because they never had an encounter with him. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. The Bible says, in, who, in him we live. And in him we have our being. Amen. That is in John, right? In, in him we live. In him we move. And in him, we have our being. My God. Is John what? 17. Praise God. Acts chapter 17 verse 28. Uh -huh. For in him we live and In move. him. In him we what? We live. Hear me. It means inside Jesus. There is capacity to survive and live inside him, not outside him. How many times have you heard people saying, no, when, when I started praying, things started being somehow, hear me? Inside him, there is a way you can live. In him, we live. Uh -huh. In him, we move. In him, we move. Inside him, we have our mobility. We are not helped by connections inside him. There is a system that he helps us. Uh -huh. And have our being. Your being, your dignity is in him. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? God is looking for a generation of people. People that are ready to do it for Christ and outside Christ, nothing else. 
the way we want God to operate in our emergency, if we understood that you do not need to have an emergency with God, you, when you abide in him, there are things when I look at them, when I see them, I wonder if really what we are doing, we really mean what we do when we say we worship God. <laughs> because if we understand him and we have sacrificed ourselves in him, not only would we be men of the spirit or people of the spirit, we would see ourselves changing the environments around us. But the biggest problem is most of the times we are part-time believers trying to fight a full-time devil. So when it's now emergency, when, we are, when it's now emergency, we, we are now rebuking him. He will be saying, I have a legal foothold because all this long you have been operating and I have given you a vacancy in my territory. It's hard to fight something you are in. <laughs> because the things of God in my generation have been made to become light. My generation has made the things of God to become so light. That is what my generation has done. They'll tell you that there is another way. You don't have to, to be praying, you know, so much, you know. Hear me! If it is written in the Bible, it must be done. It must be done. You can't jump principles and expect the results of those principles. You can't. You, you can't, especially in my generation. There are no ways and we are, we are not going to mince our words. The reason why there is no power in my generation is because there is no purity in my generation. Purity is the key to power. Amen. Amen. How can somebody, you know that yes, you, you have a title, they call you a pastor, but you wonder you are a serial fornicator. And you want to exude the power of God from which vessel? Because the Bible says he who commits adultery sins against himself. Sins against his body. This body, the bodies we carry, most people, we, we, we have to get to a place where we realign ourselves to God because most of these bodies no longer has capacity and they are not conducive to host the presence of God. Oh, ye foolish Galatians, who bewitched you? I saw one big man advocating, so no, it doesn't matter. In as much as, as long as God is in your heart. Hear me? If God just wanted us to just say, as long as God is in your heart, it is fine, whatever you do does not matter. The day you receive Jesus, the pastor was supposed to be holding a gun. You receive Jesus, he shoots you, you go to heaven. Because your heart is not pure. Your heart is not pure. Jesus arrived at the temple, took a whip, started whipping people out of the temple. The anger in him, in people defiling the temple, and says, the house of my father shall be called the house of prayer. Not preaching, prayer. But you have made it to become a den of thieves. My brother, we have many thieves on the altar. <laughs> many thieves on the altar. The pastor will be targeting and the message is manipulated to your pocket. 
The sister is singing and her voice is targeted to manipulate the brother to marry her. A person is coming with a prayer request and on the prayer request, the pastor is told, man of God, if you pray for me, is this thing happens, what I'm going to do for the house of God? No, you just need quick miracle. It's not as if that if anything happens. Ah! A den of lions. A den of lions. We have false pastors and we have false believers. They pray in church. Go and ask people at their house if they pray. They don't pray. Go and ask. You want to know how, how people are believers? Go and ask at their home. If you came with someone from home, look at them and say, am I a real, am I a real believer? <laughs> the eye they will give you is already... <laughs> Because until we get to a place where our message is transforms people, whatever we are doing is caricature and kindergarten church. There can be 11,000 people gathering, but it's only 100 people that are born again. And everybody else is a spiritual nightclub. It's not about the multitude. It's not about the, 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 the speaking with a, hear me, the speaking with a soft voice is not an indicator for humility. Yeah. The biggest scammers are very soft. Yeah. <laughs> Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? When you are dedicated to God, everything about you becomes a sacrifice. I, what makes a man to stay in prayer for hours? It's not that the body is not yet in prayer. Prayer is not eating ice cream. It is a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Men of God, you know, you, you, you always talk about fasting. Fasting is very painful. It's supposed to be painful. How do you want it to be? Someone says, men of God, I, I was fasting and I started feeling hungry. So what did you want to feel? You are supposed to feel hungry. The, the body is supposed to alert you that something is happening. Something uncomfortable is happening. And this is where you get to a place where you master your body. When you, are fasting, you enter the kitchen, you, you hold that, that guava, that biscuit, and you put it on. You say, no, I'm fasting. <laughs> you go back again. You touch the drink. And by the time you're touching, the, 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 the salivary glands are already salivating. And all of a sudden you say, no, I'm fasting. You walk out of the kitchen, you say, baraka balataka. And you go to the bedroom. And all of a sudden there is a headache that will come. And that headache is saying, if you only drink water, I will go. Why come when I'm fasting? <laughs> and by that time, what are you doing? You are teaching your body to be disciplined. The, the headache only comes when you are fasting. And it will only disappear by a sip of water. Not, not a glass, a sip. <laughs> that headache. I mean, oh God, you don't know. I was very feeling very weak. That person was feeling weak. One biscuit will give them strength that you never... Was this person about to die with fasting? <laughs> Just one biscuit. One taste of a small, small, small sweet. Say, ah, are you sure you are about to die? <laughs> it's a sacrifice. Take a person, put them in prayer, close them in a room. Say, pray for the next three hours. They'll be like, ga, 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 ga. 30 minutes, they are gone, they are asleep. Take them from that room, give them a movie. You will be surprised. I am an akabora de balatai. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. 
Have you, have you ever realized how much you call? You do not calculate when you are buying things that are useless. Yeah. Yes. Aye. But when you are to do major projects in your life, yeah. oh, you feel like whatever you are doing, there is something that is drawing your money. Why? Because a sacrifice is involved. A sacrifice has to yet. That's why it's a sacrifice. And let me shock you. Sacrifices provoke seasons. Unless you come to a place. That's why the Bible says present your bodies as a living sacrifice. That your body surrender to God. You think you will change. You will change. You, you will change the story of your family. The demon fighting you fought your grand grandfather, grandfather, fought your father, fought brothers, and now you come. You are only quoting scripture. Your lifestyle must only also become a sacrifice. Why? Because it knows every data. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating with somebody? Amen. Am I communicating with somebody? Amen. That is why you see that even as it comes to people, you realize that, oh God, you, you realize that, you realize that until you get to a place where you make up your mind, until you get to a place where you make up your mind, I say, either it's God or nothing, there are certain things that will always become a cycle over your life. This generation, you are not just doing it for yourself. You are doing it for the next generation. You are doing it for the example of the next generation. But also, let your life become a message. All ye foolish Galatians who bewitched you. You stand on an altar where, 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 where grace is frustrated. Apostle Paul says, I do not want to frustrate the grace of God. Where is church after church, the things that are done there, you are wondering, man of God, are you sure? <laughs> say, young lady, come here. I see, I see. Say, yes, Papa, yes, Papa. Say, I. That relationship you are in is not the right relationship. You are beautiful. Yes, man of God. Say, see me after service. Man of God, what, what, what more prophecy do you want to do after service that you could not do in front of people? Yeah. Fornicator. And people are clapping hands, hearing such dramatic caricature in the name of God. In the name of God. I heard one big man saying, no, it is fine, you can masturbate, it's not a problem. Do you know in the Bible, there is a man who died. The Bible says, Onan did it and God slept him from heaven. It was not only about what he did. It was about the body. If you knew that that body is no longer your own. When you begin to work, that body is no longer your own. I see myself. There are many foods I would want to eat, but I don't eat them. Because this body is no longer my own. You think when I'm fasting, visions don't come. There are visions that come. While I'm seated, well, he prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies. <laughs> my enemies of fasting. <laughs> you know, when you are fasting, that's when people will be offering you, taking you out. People you've never heard say, man of God, I just want, I want, I want you to pray for me. Let's meet over lunch. You say, hey, <laughs> you know I'm fasting. <laughs> Why is it that you are coming in a season of fasting? No, you prepare the table in the presence of my enemies. Until we get that to this generation, until we get to a place where we are coated with fire. Until we get to a place where we are filled with the grace of God and we have a hunger for God. Whatever we are doing is useless. Pastor Tobias, let me tell you something. There are preachers there are preachers that gathered thousands. They died. Yeah. 
they died. And even now, there is not even a brick standing from what they were building. <laughs> so it's not about it's not about how I start, it's about how I end. It's about how I end. And your walking from today must become dependent on the Holy Ghost. Amen. You think you can preach? If I can, if I can start doing marathon now, we can go for three hours. There was a time in a month, it was November, for two months, my voice was gone. And by that time, you have 300 people waiting for you for Sunday. The voice is gone. <laughs> My voice came when I had a conversation. And this is what was said. This is what was said. He said, son, if you were not a preacher, would you pray the way you pray? From that day, my perception changed. That's why when I do this, I do this out of the love for God. <laughs> I, I don't wait for you to come and fix uh, things. I can do it. Because for me, it's a service. Out of the love for God. It's a service. Are you going to pray? Amen. God set me on fire. Amen. And let the fire not burn out. Set me on fire. And let the fire not burn out. Nothing is painful as starting and not ending. We prophesied in your name. No, 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 no. Go where you were doing your evil works. I never knew. That means that there is a book. <laughs> there is a book where he records his own. There, there is a book where he records this one I know him. This one I know him. These ones are just wearing uniform, but I don't know them. They are not in my organization. They have no investment for me. And we know them. Because he says you shall know them by their fruits. There is nothing about Christ in their message. There is nothing about Jesus in them. They've infiltrated, they've spoken everything else except Christ. That now we have a generation who realize that we have believers, they don't know Christ. They know prayers of casting every spirit but they do not know any prayer of intimacy with God. Until we get to a place where Christ is lifted, we'll be delivered from this witchcraft that has entered our generation. It was sacred for a child to answer back to their parents, but in this generation, it is now a norm. It was sacred for somebody to touch an anointed man. But in our generation, it's now a norm. But there's a level that is rising. Where the structures of the kingdom are being replaced. Where we shall see the power of God operating and God using men like never before. Hear me. We are going to see divine judgments. Divine judgments not only over the church but also over governments. The Bible says judgment shall begin in the house of God. I want you to stand up on your feet. Ebala babom kebai Zamanti kabalate kai Father in the name of Jesus we thank you. We have gathered in this place to surrender ourselves to you. 
Lehiborande katai breengto usebele manda itala barua dai. Thank you spirit of the living God because you are God. Parele konde masaveida and opere da atena duare dai. Rahadema lombre nde kaske veida and tele mambre di kale vaare de eso maidia fai. Lakune masamero taile rebalasa metedia. Velita knows Kenjeta Namando Kabaladeke. We bless and we exalt your name, O God. La Quaparos Kenemande Kabarande Kadai Peredekai. Everybody listening to me under the sound of my voice. Father, I thank you in the name that is above every other name. May the grace of the Lord be sufficient over their lives. May we see your mighty hand. May we see your mighty power. My God, we pray. Mighty God, that may your Holy Spirit fill us. We want to walk with you. 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 Let our lives become a message. Let our lives become a message. Let our lives become a message. Lahi barunde kabana che barunde kai. Embre de lekona mai. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. I've been doing church but I no longer want to do church I now want to walk with God I've just been doing church I've been playing around doing church but this journey I want to walk it in truth and in spirit not by experience not by the years I've been in church but I want to get to a place where I walk and even heaven testifies that my life is given to him. My life is surrendered to him. My existence and everything about me is about him. It's about him. 
it's about him. Like a woman called Prophetess Anna, the Bible says she stayed in that temple after her husband died for the next 15 years she was in the temple interceding for the coming of Christ her life was now surrendered how will God not put an insurance over his investment how will God not supply knowing that anything that will bring shame to you brings shame to his name Bring shame to his name. David says, Oh Lord, let them not say, Where is your God? When you become sold out to God, there is no way he will not get to a place where he will show himself over the affairs of your life. This journey, it's a personal journey. My parents might pray for me every day as I know. But hear me. It is my prayers that determine my relationship with God. Their prayers might protect me and open certain doors. But when it comes to relationships, it is your individual relationship with Him. Amen. And one thing I prayed to God not even to anybody connected to me. I pray that, oh Lord, let them all know God personally. Amen. That in the day where even I'm not there, at least I would have left something that lives forever, that cannot inflate. That cannot inflate. That cannot And thank God I have succeeded that in my own household they have caught this thing. God did not bring you on this earth to just live and be piled by bills yet your spirit is empty. Your spirit can be empty. I want to pray with people I think I need the Bible poke holes in the refilling of the Holy Ghost. I need to walk afresh. I've been doing yes, I've been shouting when others pray, but I've not been feeling that connection anymore. I've not been feeling it. I want you to come in front so that we pray. Can I have that oil? There is an the Bible says. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit. I told you that walking with God has effect. That you enter into places, it is felt you are carrying him. You speak to people out of your common words. It is something beyond the words you are speaking, something will affect at the point of the problem. Life is so spiritual. Oh God. Give me oil, let me not dry up. Give me a fire that will not burn out. That will not burn out. I'm not crying for this fire so that I can be on a stage or on a pulpit. No! I want to burn for sure. I want to burn. I want to burn. I want to burn. I want to burn. Times when I was back home, there, there were demons that would manifest on the street. They would know this person. Just put them in the gate. When fire begins to burn, territories are worn, even when words are not spoken. He said to me three days ago, when you lift me up, I will draw many to you. Somebody say, let, let Jesus be lifted. Let Jesus be Every time you are looking at your life, let your life become so much of a testimony that the only words you bring out is let Jesus 
Let your life become a living testimony that every time you're just saying, let this Jesus be lived. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. You can't be affected by witches, people using charms. Which Jesus are you carrying? Which Jesus are you carrying? The revelation I know is superior. The Bible says your life is hidden in Christ. We have spoken so much about spiritual attacks that we do not know the authority in Christ. We have spoken so much about the devil that people fear demonic antics. They do not know the power. You know the Bible says that all power was made by him and for him. Even the devil was made by him and for him. That when we say Jesus, the universe has to, there has to be an earthquake. We are going to pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There is going to be a change. The anointing of the living God is going to rest upon you. You are going to see change in your environment, change in your home. Every place you step upon, change is going to be seen. Barriers, altars are going to be dismantled. The fire of God is going to be seen. People are going to ask, what is happening in your life? Thank you, Spirit of God. So Thank you, Spirit of God. Kabonde kasatai. Father, we speak the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Kesh. Be lifted high. I speak fresh oil. Fresh oil. Your glory be lifted high. Ooh, thank be you, Holy Ghost. High. There goes the power. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. A refilling of the Holy Ghost. A refilling of the Holy Ghost. For your glory be lifted high. Thank you, Jesus. Be lifted high. The power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Oh, Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. The refilling. Let the fire that burned from afar begin to burn again. Yes, Lord, let your glory be lifted high this morning. For your glory be lifted high. In the cup For your glory be lifted on the guy. Be lifted high. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. Be lifted high, 
be lifted high until the barrows can be lifted high until the basket be lifted high lifted high the mantos can be bound be lifted high thank you holy ghost be lifted high be lifted high be lifted high Thank for you, your glory, for your glory, for your glory. In the name of Jesus. For your glory, be lifted high, Master Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Be lifted high, Jesus. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Shamanina. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. For your glory. These are the days For that were prophesied by the prophet Ezekiel. For your glory. Speak a revitalization. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God. For your glory. In Jesus' name. For Come your glory. Oh, lifted high. I know money, Nana, near the Be lifted high. Thank you, Holy Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Thank you, Lord. Be lifted high. Thank you, Jesus. For your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Shaduda Bahasa Zagada Bayesa Labasha. I calibra zondo di baje di labra cozada. Calabaso branda di amaso do 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 I rebuke every hindrance from the foundations. The mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The heaviness of the glory of God. Nothing stands in front of the presence of the Lord that is not God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, I speak a fire that is of God from this moment. Encounters that are of God from this moment. Every appetite of what is not of God dies in this place. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Who are you calling Noku? Who are you calling Noku? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I surrender Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I arrived at a place, and you're entering. This is a place with a black gate, a very big black gate. And when 
I'm entering, going to this direction, to this side, it's a big building like warehouses. It's Limogens. That's where you are working. When I entered, the Lord began to show me a door that is opening beyond your workplace. The Lord is going to open a door for you. The Lord is opening a door for you. You will not recognize yourself because of what God is about to do. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because there's a partnership that the Lord is bringing. And I had someone with the name Kelvin. There's a partnership God is going to be bringing. And as this month goes before it ends, this is March. You are going to be seeing yourself doing things that are beyond your workplace. And even the favor that God is going to give you is different. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And this shall be a sign. This shall be a sign. A strong man is going to be struck by lightning in the coming days. And you shall begin to see your life change in a way that you will even move from place to place in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I bless your name in the name of Jesus. I bless your name in thank the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you have done. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Let your hand be stretched. Let your hand be stretched. Beyond my life. Beyond my life. To my family. To my family. To my household. To my household. And to everything I touch with and my to hands. Everything I touch with my in hands. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody celebrate God in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. can stand on our feet as we are about to close our service. Amen. I'm saying amen to somebody here. Amen. I'm repeating myself. I'm saying amen. Amen. All right. So this is our time that we give in the house of the Lord. Um, as I always emphasize that we give willingly. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever type of offering that you'll be giving here, uh, it must be done willingly. Um, it must be from your heart. Amen. That's where we see the blessings of God rest upon people. Hallelujah. But if you are giving because you are manipulated or something else, then we don't see. <laughs> we don't see the blessings. Hallelujah. 